What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve equations using nth roots, all right? Now, one little tip I wanna point out right now is uh, you always wanna look at your exponent when you're starting the problem, right? Because if you have an even exponent, you're gonna have two solutions, a positive and a negative one, all right? If you have an odd exponent, then you're gonna have only one solution. So it's gonna be either positive or negative, right? So let's start with this first one right here. 5x cubed is equal to 1080, all right? So we have 5x cubed is equal to 1080. Okay, the first thing I want you to notice is the exponent. So it's odd, so we're only gonna have one solution, okay? So the first thing in order to solve for x here, the first thing we'll do is get rid of this five by dividing both sides by five, right? We'll get x cubed is equal to 1080 divided by five, which is equal to 216. Now, in order to get rid of this exponent, we need to take the cube root of both sides, All right? So then on this side, the cube root and the cubed exponent cancel each other out. So we're just left with x is equal to the cube root of 216, which is equal to six. Right, because six times six times six is equal to 216, right? So then our answer right here is x is equal to six. Now let's go to the next one. So this is x to the sixth plus 36 is equal to 100, right? Our exponent, remember, first thing you wanna look at is even. So that means we're gonna have two solutions, right? A positive and a negative one. So here, x to the sixth plus 36 is equal to 100. So the first thing we can do is subtract 36 from both sides. So then we get x to the sixth is equal to 64. Okay, now to get rid of this six, we need to take the sixth root of both sides. And so then on this side, those cancel out and we're left with x is equal to the sixth root of 64. And that's gonna be equal to positive or negative uh, let's see, what's the sixth root of 64? I believe that's two, right? So two times two times two times two times two times two, right? Six times that's equal to 64. But the thing is negative two times 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 negative two. That's also equal to 64, right? So that's why whenever we have an even exponent, we end up with two different solutions, right? So we have two solutions here, x is equal to positive two and x is equal to negative two, All right? Next is this third one. So this is x minus five in parentheses raised to the fourth is equal to 256, okay? Notice we have an even exponent, so we'll have two solutions, right? Now, in order to get rid of this exponent, the fourth, we're gonna have to take the fourth root of both sides, all right? So then on this side, these cancel out. So we're just left with what's in these parentheses right here, this x minus five, and that's equal to the fourth root of 256, which is equal to positive or negative four, okay? So we basically have two equations here. So we have x minus five is equal to positive four, and x minus five is equal to negative four. All right, so then solving for x over here, uh, we'll add five to both sides. So we get that x is equal to nine, All right? And then on this side, again, uh, let's get rid of that five. So then here we get x is equal to positive one, All right? So then here we get two solutions again, right? X is equal to positive nine and x is equal to one. All right, next one is this one right here, right? X plus 10 to the fifth is equal to 70, all right? We have an odd exponent, so we're gonna have one solution. So the first thing we wanna do is get rid of this five by taking the fifth, <laughs> that's a three. I promise you, I know what a five looks like. Five, so we're gonna take the fifth root of both sides, right? So then those cancel out, and we're left with x plus 10 is equal to the fifth root of 70. Okay, so then here we're gonna get that x plus 10 is equal to, it's gonna be approximately, uh, so the fifth root of 70, that's not a clean number. You actually have to put this into your calculator. So you could either enter it like this or you could enter it as 70 raised to the one fifth power, 
right? Either way would work. But in any case, you would get uh, that this is equal to approximately 2.34, okay? So to solve for x over here, we'll subtract uh, 10 from both sides. So then we get that x is approximately equal to negative 7.66, all right? There's our one answer. Now for this last one, we have a fraction, gross. So 1 sixth x cubed is equal to negative 36. So we have an odd exponent, so we should expect to get one solution, right? Now, uh, the first thing we can do is get rid of this fraction, and we can do that by multiplying by the reciprocal, right? So multiply by 6 over 1, or 6 over 1 is the same thing as just 6. So let's multiply both sides by 6. So then these cancel out, and we're left with x cubed is equal to negative 36 times 6, which is equal to negative 216, all right? Now, uh, to get rid of the 3, we'll take, again, the cube root of both sides, like that. Those cancel out, so we get x is equal to the cube root of negative 216, which is equal to negative 6. So, if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.